I'm so sorry. Happy New Year to you, Virgos. Happy New Year. Oh my God, Virgos. Let's see what's happening. I refill and tank myself after <laughs> the rest of the reading. So, Virgos, Happy New Year. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I have Virgo in my birth chart. Very strong in my birth chart. <laughs> so, I'm really a hurt sign person. So, Virgos, what's happening? For the Virgos in the year 2020, this is a year and a year that is air. It is a new start. It is a year where the divine feminine come in, the I princess. She comes in in this year, and that is going to be good for you, um, Virgos, who are looking for your spirituality, who wants to balance out yourself. So this is a beautiful year for you, Virgos. So what else is happening in transpiring? You're receiving a new start. You're going to be learning to balance the material world with um, the spiritual world, Virgos. Okay? I love you guys. In order to tr to receive the extended of this reading, you have to become a member on my channel because there's so many changes on YouTube. And as you choose the super extended, you will receive all the extended. Um, and only if you have the super extended, will you receive the year extended and the quarterly extended for the rest of the extended, you won't receive the year and the quarters. Okay. So, and the love extended for the year. So Virgos, let's check up and see what is coming in for the Virgos in the first month of January. I see light is being shed on a situation you have been dealing with. Whatever the situation is and was in 2019, I see light being shed on this in January. So Virgos, whatever the situation, whatever that you have been dealing with, you are going to be seen clearly in the month of January. Let's say that things wasn't clear in the month of January. The clarity is going to come in. <clears throat> January is the energy of water. As we look at February, I see you having a situation where some of you could be um, receiving a, a promotion, job promotion um, is coming up. This is wonderful and this is positive because this is all about you taking and bringing back balance in your life. So some of you Virgos that was out of line with your balance, your financial stability and that sort of a thing, you're taking back your life in the month of January. So I'm seeing a lot of people are going to be finding a new jobs in um, February. In March, you have a water sign. So you have water, er, uh, fire and water. So judgment call is coming up for you, Virgos. Um, we are going to be looking to see what is coming out, whether it's good or whether it's bad, but some information you are going to be received in the month of March. So, Virgos, what a quarter, what a quarter. It's all about emotions, it's all about seeing things, um, seeing things about people in power and information that is going to be coming out about people in power. So, let's look at the second quarter. Um, the first quarter is all online. Let's look at the second quarter. In the month of April, you have success coming in, Virgos. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, in the month of April, I see you coming in very strong. Success is yours. Um, this is if even you weren't feeling well, if even your energy was a little bit out balance from the first three months, April, you're going to start feeling well. You're going to be successful in things that you weren't able to be successful over. And it's going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. 
then we uh, victory and success in the month of May congratulations you Virgo victory and success in the month of May this is good victory and success over people that was using their power I see positive alignment of energy you stand up to some injustice and equality and not only are you successful in the month of April but your victory coming out in the month of May so April and May is looking really good for you guys two fire month right behind each other then um, you have the tools in your your ends whatever is happening and transpiring Virgos the second quarter of the year April till June is going to be fabulous because in the month of June you receive the energy of hair so you have fire 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 in the month in this um, second quarter where the magician comes in it's a yes so in the first six months uh, the best months to try anything new or start anything new it is going to be in the month of april may and june these are your three most beautiful months that is coming up and it's all about successful it's all about victor victory it's all about feeling your energy coming back in the second quarter okay let's look at the second half of the year we have an earth energy this is good this is good this is good july is fantastic july is the end of a situation july you're ending a cycle of something in your life this is beautiful it's fantastic because you're moving out you're healing and healing energies are here we have blue white and purple so we have archangel michael we have archangel gabriel and we have the golden silver violet flame uh, Saint Germain and Archangel Zatkiel. This is powerful because they're ending a cycle in your life. So July is going to be a powerful month. As we look at August, I see a transformation is coming in. This transformation is positive and powerful because what is aligning you and this transformation is that some thing needed to be ended in your life and now a new start is about to begin for you so this is a water energy that is going to give you a new start to something as we look I know the eye princess would have come up for you Virgos because the eye princess is um, information coming from the spirit side it is your guided angels protecting and guiding you opening up doors of opportunity the magician and the eye princess together it is a yes it is go ahead whatever you decide to do in the month of september it is a yes take it up move with it because it's going to be happening so this 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 third quarter is as if you're ending cycles and then cycles and then cycles and the cycles your spirit guides are coming in in the month of September to heal things remove things and because the eye princess is the divine feminine that is coming in it's the star again another successful month is the month of uh, uh, October this is very positive this is powerful because what is happening is that you are succeeding and excelling in your life and moving forward in your life healing is coming in and positive alignment of energies because some of you are finding out your true note this energy of the star is saying yes you have come to where you need to be and it's going to be fabulous a smashing fabulous 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 as we move forward what we see here is happening is that the energy of a water sign is coming out so as we look um, you guys have one air sign um, water emotional secret secrets that is going to be coming out something unexpected you are going to be finding out something about people situations around you that you were never aware of and this is coming out in November this is positive this is powerful this is good Virgos November is going to be opening you up and letting you know about something that you weren't aware of okay as we move forward we're looking at december the last and final month and the energy of the eggman is coming up in december where you're going within because you have closed off a period 
um, some cycles in your life and you're looking forward to 2021 Virgos this is going to be a powerful year the last six months in this year is looking very spiritual whatever the issues the situation is I see that you have the energy of the air fan this is the energy this is the energy of you dealing with people in institutes the situation organization in this year the energy of the air event is an earth energy and this is really wonderful and positive in this year because you're learning to balance uh, the spiritual and uh, the material world and this is going to be good congratulations virgos to have your own earth energy that is coming in so this is really a powerful powerful year that is happening and transpire it's an absolutely powerful year that is coming in for you virgos and what is happening and transpiring virgos is that there is a lot of emotional situation but yet still there's a lot of fire energy that is coming in and as I look, I see the truth is going to come out about something and you're going to be victorious and successful. I see your spirit guides is coming in and I'm uh, um, showing you things, um, revealing um, sacred, se um, um, sacred secrets to you. Um, escotic secrets is coming out. The first half of the year is going to be good because the best month in the second half it's going to be July and uh, um, October July and October as we look at the month of uh, August September November and December it's about healing it's about bringing balance to people and situation in your life uh, you Virgos okay so be aware of that you Virgos so we're gonna be looking and seeing and i should say it's just one air sign that is here and it's in the month of um ooh, november uh october sorry and this is good so write down your best months for some of you february could be very good but let's see first what is coming up in february so as we're looking in the month of january going into february i see that things are going to be looking good on the work floor i see you've seen the truth about people's situation on the work floor i see you collaborating with other people um january going into february i see new projects new business are coming up um that you virgos are bringing in but i see working together to resolve situations seeing the truth this is going to bring you a lot of success so let's say in the month of january someone said why don't we col collaborate together or someone said why don't you you come and work for me or someone said there's an opening at my company in the month of february you are going to start and this is going to bring you a lot of uh, financial stability so i see a new offer of work is going to be coming up for you virgos okay so it's all about work i see you being very successful at your work you virgos then i see the four of swords and uh, some of you could be having this uh, description between um 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 people in power and uh, what is going to be happening i see you um kind of standing up some of you will be standing back and looking at people in power being very deceiving and deceptive and you're like hmm okay let me just look at this and see what exactly is going on some of you could be um deciding to change your jobs because you see um a situation that is happening you could be deciding to change your job but this is also a period where i see some of you are working so hard that you need to find balance in your life okay you need to really find balance in your life some of you could be changing jobs uh, February going into March okay but I see in the month of March it is as if you are looking for inner in a peace okay and whatever is transpiring you're trying to use the aid the swords energy cuz you're all in your head okay because the water sign of um you know bohor dealing over yourself so some of you could start a new job or some of you could be working with people and you're all in your head because you're kind of thinking is this viable is this going to work 
as we look at the month of april going in may you're going to be successful over your enemies whoever that was working against you um keeping you back success is going to be coming out um over your enemies because i see that the energy of the sun is coming out and showing you who your enemies is and you're going to be very successful because you're going to be seeing all these deceptiveness and people and you're going to be overcoming and this could be happening for some of you at work but you're going to be very successful over the deceptiveness and these people that has been happening and transpiring for you so this is going to be wonderful and beautiful i see um the energy of the page of pentacles okay so i see money coming in um you are overcoming a situation i see money coming in so whatever the collaboration that you have done in january i see money coming in okay i see people offering you um money i see you receiving a message that money is going to be coming into you and you're going to be using this money to do something to push yourself up and to make something of your life so it could be the end of a legal suit and money is going to be coming in because I see your enemies were caught they were doing something money is going to be coming in so it looks good um, in the beginning I see money is coming back to you that was um, basically stolen from you okay we have um, in the month of uh, July August you have to make a decision I see you're going to be making a decision um, to remove yourself away from negative um, influence in your life you're gonna make the decision I no longer want to be in a company I no one longer want to have these friends I no longer want to be in this place and you're gonna make a decision to change your life to end a cycle in your life and to move forward in a very positive way because as you make the decision in the month of uh, um, um, july august you are going to be um moving away from things that no longer service serve you so you're ending a cycle and the cycle is going to be beautiful as uh, we look we see you have the energy of the five of cups uh, this energy of the five of cups is that you make a decision and a transition you decided and you have some emotional um you're emotional about making these decision but it's okay because um endings always created emotional endings in your life but these emotional endings that is happening is very good because it needs to happen okay so whatever your ending and transition of course every endings people have so it says did i do the right thing but what i'm seeing here is that this ending had to be done success is here the energy of the star the truth come out people see that you're doing a good work I see that um, people are shedding light on your work I see that people are really whatever that you had change in your life and ill in your life I see that it's like a spotlight is being set on you and the spotlight as the energy of the star so that is success accolades positive information coming in and that is good in the month of uh, october in the month of november going in december you have the six of pentacles so money is not going to be a um it's not going to be a problem let's say it like that money is not going to be a problem because what we see is that money is definitely going to be coming in i see um you're going to be making changes whatever the changes is is going to create new financial abundance in your life i see in december you're some of you are going to be thinking about to extend your business in december whatever is happening and transpiring i see some of you are going to decide to extend your business in um december and this is really really going to be better for you so this is wonderful so because of the spotlight and whatever that transpired in the month of october that created a new um opposition of money coming in 
and this is going to be good so you're leaving the year um you know if you are someone who has started a business in this year you're going to be leaving the year thinking of how to extend your business and this is going to be good so really wonderful um virgos um you uh, you know this is a lucky year for your sister the capricorns and trust me i see the capricorns coming up in um help you to end the cycle in the month of uh, uh july capricorns are coming up to help you to end the cycle in the month of july and they're opening up new doors of opportunities for you uh the gemin the um taurus is also here which is wonderful and very very um powerful so let's see what is going to be coming out to affect i see work is going to be good i see light is going to be shedding um you are going to be shedding light on the work floor you're going to be the star of the work floor you virgos so um, be aware of that so in january virgos you're going to be having some luck with work um you are going to be shining um people are going to be unexpected surprises with work if you are looking for a job just unexpected that 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 was what i said unexpected someone is just going to come out of the blue and offer you a job and you are take it take it if you're looking for a job and if even you're not looking for a job that is when it always unexpected just out of the blues just someone said hey you want to come and work for us or hey you want to connect with us this is going to be happening so january is looking really good because a light is shed on something and i see an unexpected surprises coming in where they're going to be offering you work or a promotion okay now there are some clouds uh, um you some of you could have had issues with your boss or um at work or people in power or um whatever that was there i see or you were dealing with a legal issue and the clouds was covered i see the clouds are going to be clearing up okay the clouds are going to be clearing up that means that whatever that was happening um and people were trying to hide something and didn't want something to come out it's going to come out I see um, in the month of March there is an issue some of you could be changing house changing residence this is good some of you could have applied for a house and you're going to be receiving message about this house I see definitely changes if you're moving in the month of March it's going to be um, moving to a better place because um, uh, if you're changing job it's going to be um, getting a better job at a better j place with better um, better people coming up uh, better people to work out things so I see changes of jobs and so but um, it's going to be good but I see people changing house and whoever was hunting house hunting or looking for an apartment you're going to be receiving message in the month of March in the month of april which is one of the most successful um months april good news is coming in in april good news um for work good news um over um your enemies some of you could be receiving news that your enemies or people on the work floor that you couldn't get along with they are going to be out okay so positive news is coming in in the month of april as we look at the month of May. Um, may you are going to be successful you're going to be victorious and successful at work for some of you uh, in a lawsuit for some of you over your enemies for some of you and you are going to be receiving a lot of money okay because then the page is bringing in money for you so success uh, victory and success for you guys uh, the star comes out twice in your reading so number 17 8 and 17 infinity abundance so 8 and 17 this is a positive you have another 8 there too so that is also good as we look at the month as we look at the month of um uh the month of uh, june you are having a resolution so you're going to be having the keys um, you will receive information or you will have something in your hands to resolve an issue. So if there was a legal issue, you have the keys. You have the keys in your hands 
to resolve a legal issues and this is going to be good so wonderful align and alignments of energies that is coming in and this is going to be good because whatever is happening and transpiring i am seeing definitely that the situation in your life is uh, there is changes that is coming in with the situation in your life because what is happening and transpiring is that you are standing up and making all these changes there is no question about what is happening you're standing up and making all these changes in your life and this is going to be good so in the month of june you will have all the tools that you need to make changes whether it's starting a job whether it's writing a book whether it's publishing a book whether it's getting your products on the market whatever it is people are going to be there to help you do this then we have another lucky month the month of july another lucky month the month of july what do you have you have multiple opportunities that is going to be open up for you it is a cycle it's going to be closed for you guys and then you are going to be having multiple opportunities opening up for you and this is going to be good as we look at the month of uh, as we look at the month of august i see you receiving a letter and this letter could be telling you of money that you weren't aware of that is going to be coming in to you some of you could have some regrets uh, dealing with a situation that has to do with a scorpion okay the transition and receiving a letter and a situation that has to deal with um, a, a scorpion okay so be aware of this because whatever this letter is you have some regret but you know it's as if you give up an apartment and then they're trying to and you're like a hey, just stay away from me luck luck is in your luck is coming in in the month of September whatever is is transpiring whatever is happening I see luck for you coming in the month of September this is good because your spirit guides your guiding angels are bringing you luck in the month of September and this is going to be very good you're going to be extremely lucky so multiple opportunities are coming in there's a message that is coming in and this message is um, um offering it is it's like this message that is coming in is a letter that is going to give you some luck whatever the information in this um mail email or um letter it's going to give you some luck i see you successful over a situation with people in power you're very successful um this is definitely people that was using their power it could be people at the top of a company that has used their power i see the truth come out about people in power what they have done the light is shed on them and now it's as if you are the person who shed the light on people in um at the top of a company or in um yeah it's like these big boss they have done something try to cover it up and um, you bring out the light and shed the light on these people at the top and show what and you become successful from doing that in the month of October November we have the ladies coming up in November in November I see some of you ladies your psychic is going to be on peak it's as if wow what is happening it's as if the psychic archangel annual the goddess of the moon your psychic your 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 clairvoyancy everything is going to be on peak in the month of november you are seen clearly and if you work as a psychic i see you're going to be making a lot of money because you're going to be seen clearly it's as if this year is going to be um jump starting your psychic and you're going to start to listen more to your intuition and this is just going to be very very powerful the last message new love is going to be coming in in december for you ladies new love is going to be coming in uh, some of you ladies could be getting pregnant i see a new baby coming up for you guys uh, lily the lily comes in finally finally virgos in december peace is here so december 2020 going into 2021 finally virgos um 
the lily is here and this is all about peace this is all about peace bringing peace back uh, in a disturbing situation that was going on so virgos congratulations i love the 2020 for you um please remember to cross watch cross watch um go and find out what is uh, your rising sign in your birth chart and know um which other sign you're vibrating with and what planets is going to be in your aspect if you want an astro clock reading or a year reading use the link below to connect with me and um those readings are definitely going to be coming out so virgos um i there is no extended of love that is coming in it's all about you working on yourself it's all about you building sorry i'm talking too fast it's all about you building I'm a little Wendy. <laughs> okay. So um, let's move forward and see what other energies are coming out. Let's see what animal the Virgos are going to be working with in the year 2020. What animals are the Virgos going to be working with in the year 2020? What well, two animals? Okay. So Virgos, let's see. Ooh, the Cheeto comes back. Virgos, the Omega is working with you. The Unicorn, the Chico, and oh my God, Virgos, you have three animals. And this is it. I told you, Virgos, you're, you're spiritual. Okay. So we had the Cheeto. The Cheeto is a fire animal, but we have the unicorn. So for the people in the fifth, fourth, and fifth dimension, you will be working with the unicorns, okay? So some of you are more highly spiritually awakened, and you are the ones that is going to be working with the unicorns. Then we have the energy of the Cheeto and the tiger. Oh my God, somebody else got the Chico and the tiger, OMG, the Cheeto and the Tiger came back for you, Virgos. And these boats are fire sign. The Cheeto and the Tiger came back for, oh my God. Okay, this is the first time that they um, come up twice. So, so Virgos, um, you have a holy symbol. Um, the circle, the unicorn is the holy symbol. Okay, the unicorns or from the Omega. And this is why sometimes I just laugh when people ask, ask me about the unicorns. When you're in the fifth dimension, fourth, fifth dimension, the unicorns will start to connect with you. And they only connect with people with pure art. So if you lie, jealous, and that sort of a thing, they're not going to connect with you. So this unicorn is from the universe Omega, which is the, the, the energy of... Uh, a new start which is the energy of the year and it says the reconnection to the eye of wisdom or divinity so there you go um um virgos and it says it's difficult to see and hear or think of the unicorns without me imme immediately questioning if it is really did they were here and were they existed perhaps long long time ago the mind answers maybe or it could be or in what way this very contemporary explanation or relationship with the divinity and and capture the soul of humanity believes in the unicorns we wonder what the um the divinity is so we wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really trust it we think about the higher power and our minds hesitate between yes and no. And maybe, is it male or female? Does it have a name? Is it just the feelings? The unicorn cards appear and awaken us up to the curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring and contemplating the inevitable. The mind eyes knows there is something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experience. The mind eyes reach and reaches us and reach and reach out to grasp at us. Isn't that wonderful? I just so love the unicorns. And when I talk about unicorns and people have things to say, I'm like, educate yourself. 
something more. You are the unicorn and you have begonne your quest for the answer. So when you start to ask if unicorns exist and if there was unicorns, whether they're male and female, night dimensional beams, not all, or um, the sex is there. It is just that they are night dimensional. Um, you know, only three dimension thinks about sex. Okay, three and four dimension. As you reach five dimension, it's not a part of your life anymore. Okay. Wow. Whew. That is so beautiful, Virgos. Okay, so let's go to the fire sign and look at the Cheeto. And the Cheeto, they're all in upright, so this is good. The Cheeto is a um a solar force. This is action, this is achievement, and this is the male energy. So the cheater is a solar force. It is action, it's achievement, and it is the masculine energies. So you guys have the masculine and the feminine energies. The cheeto is the epitomus of the solar force at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetos. It shines from inside this great creation and expand outwards to brighten the universe. The energy within a Cheeto personality is probably to the other and they naturally attract an audience to bear witness to their remarkable achievement, purpose and passion or the best fuel for the Chico forward moments. So if you are lacking in those area, reconnect to the way before you start running okay so it's about reconnecting before you start jumping reconnect okay because the cheetahs is about action it's the solar force it's about action but you have to plan your action this is the masculine energy when in balance achievement anything boundless energies you will have um i went out of balance impatient and competent uh, compen a lot of competition so um, if you find that you're in a lot of uh, impatient and a lot of competition, then you got to rebalance yourself, reconnect to the purpose. What is the purpose? Why are you here? Why are you doing something? So, you know, you will see a lot of people are trying to, yeah, competitive. I don't, I don't know competitive. And if someone is trying to be competitive with me, I'm like, bye, because. It's not me. I don't believe in competitive and people who are competitive and people who wants to do better than other people and competitive, there is a reason why you are lacking. Okay. That is a form of lacking. So whenever people are in, in competition and competing against other people, you're lacking something within yourself. Okay. All right. Let's go further. The tiger. This is the lunar force, moon force, okay? Ease in darkness, female energy. You guys got it and another sign got it. Go and check out the Virgo at the air sign. They got it. The tiger hunts at night. At once, and you Virgos are really like tigers. At once, with the silence, fearing nothing. The This reminds us to take in the wild darkness to allow the lunar forces to smoothen and elon our spirit, sensuality, receptiveness, and devotion are all items in the midnight hour. Don't I know it? Bam, bam, bam. And the tiger takes advantage of these boundaries and uh, um, spend some time in silent this evening, drinking in the potential of calm. There is nothing to fear in the stillness except the awakening of your own power. Oh, yeah. When in balance, you are passionate, you're strong, and you're sexual. When out of balance, you're overstimulated. Too much coffee. Um, to bring yourself in balance, uh, tarara, candle gazing. So light a candle and gaze in the candle and that will bring you 
back in balance i love these animal um this these animal energies i just so love these animal energies okay so let's go forward and see what is coming out for um you guys so we have the sacred chakra whenever the sacred chakra comes up the sacred chakra is awaken you and um, you got to connect with your sacred chakra okay so you it definitely is a spiritual year for you guys you have to find back your true inner power whatever is transpiring you have to call upon your true inner power and you have to align your second chakra okay I don't think it's a second chakra it's just your solar chakra okay then we have the man um the 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 man holding a coin so some of you men are really going to be holding some good money in this year okay so some of you men definitely is going to be holding some good money in this year there is no question about it men be ready because money is about to enter your life oh my god 40 minutes but i gotta get this through um the focus is V A M. Vam, 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 vam. Okay, so that is going to be the energy to get you back in balance. So, woo, Archangel Zakia Romance. Bam, bam, bam. You didn't get it in the general reading, but Archangel Zakia is going to be watching over. Orange is your color, orange is the next black. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> So orange, um, call upon Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron is going to be bringing in that positive light. Use the orange code. I love you, Virgos. I want to say namaste. I will speak to you in the quarter readings.